All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody watching this video later on on YouTube for a, a new deck that uh, looks pretty weird. Um, we got a Niv Mizzet Reborn deck. So we're a five color reborn. So this is a five color card that says whenever it enters the battlefield, take a look at your top 10 cards of the library. Actually, you have to reveal them. That's worse. And then for every color pair, you can choose one of those cards and put into your hand. So we have cards of all sorts of different color pairs here. We got Niv Mizzet, Vraska, Ajani, Teferi, Kaya's Wrath, you know, as you can see here, just all sorts of different ones. So we're basically wanting Niv Mizzet to mostly be a five mana, six, six flying draw three for the most part. Um, that's uh, what we're kind of wanting to to do so in order to help us there we have chromatic lanterns to make our lands tap for any color so basically if we have chromatic lantern then we're going to be doing okay if we don't have chromatic lantern it's going to be kind of tough <laughs> for the most part um it's definitely possible that our deck here should just be even more esper control and less wacky five colors but oh well uh, our mana base is one only a parent can love. They still don't have Hinterland Harbor. Yeah, Hinterland Harbor is still not... It's crazy. Out of all the, the cards for these full arts, all the lands have them except for Hinterland Harbor. Kaiserath has it now, though, actually. Let's get some Kaiseraths. That's a new one. But how how you can have 3D arts... They, they just added in today with the update... Dragon Skull Summit now, but still Hinterland Harbor. Nope. Oh, well. Let's uh, go ahead and um, give this a try. Uh, Johnny's just basically in here to gain a lot of life for us. That's all we're trying to do is just gain a lot of life and give our Hydro Crisis Vigilance, I suppose. Or the Niv-Mizzet Vigilance. Yeah. All right, this good. This could go bad. Let's head on over to the queue. Spend some gold, win some gold. Yeah, you can find all of my decks on the Stream Decker page, streamdecker.com slash deck slash Todd Stevens MTG. <laughs> all right, Mitch, and you're excited? I'm excited too. Let's cast some Niv, Niv Mizzet Reborn. Five color Reborn. Okay, look at how, look at how easy this is. This this deck looks like it actually functions. Look at how functioning this looks. All right, we'll, let's get some more lands. Uh, Deafening Clarion over there. I'll keep the Discovery for more lands. Oh, Grixis is just fine, Loving Life Pal. Just because I went 1 6 doesn't mean that the deck's not going to be any good. Dang. Well, got really punished for putting the Deafening Clarion over there immediately. Soren, Soren. Heroic Reinforcements is going to be the card we're going to take. Uh, Cruel Celebrant's really nice. So I just go to Fairy Tuck Judith. Go to 11, play Vraska, tick up. He also says, today's exclamation point decks. See that up here? So that's how you go find the decks. 
Just type exclamation point dex. Um. I know my responsibility. You need to take a time out. We need to draw Niv Mizzet Reborn. <clears throat> or Hydro Crisis. Or Niv Mizzet Reborn should find Hydro Crisis. That didn't go according to plan. Our phone's probably like, what is going on? My crew is the finest in the seas. No, there's not any better. This adds mana. All of our lands add mana of any color. This this makes our five color deck work. You don't need basic lands for lantern. Any land it works with. <laughs> that won't stop me. Time for a drink. No, this is much more of like a control deck than a mid-range deck. Well, all of our lands tap for every color, so we don't have to worry about auto tap. Show no mercy. All right, we'll do the crisis next turn. Whenever we can crisis for six. That's a lot of Cruel Celebrant and Judith triggers. I require your body, not your soul. This is tough. I guess I I guess I need to minus on the celebrant. Last turn. Yeah, they redrew that Judy now from the Teferi. I guess I should have minus three and killed the celebrant. I'm not sure if I like these like random fireballs that are going like across the screen and everything. It's pretty distracting. we meet you won't be so lucky like that thing right there is sparky So, yeah, South Pole, to play a game against me, uh, we do that during the uh, the sub-battle stream. And we're actually really close to our next sub-battle stream. Um, there's an info panel about that down below. But we've hit 14 sub-goals right now. We're only one away. So basically, whenever we get seven, if we get seven more subscribers today, then we'll have a sub-battle stream. Down. So we're at zero. They had a great hand. 
exactly four lands, all sorts of spells, good mana. I should not get, should not have gotten rid of that Deafening Clarion. Learned our lesson there. Our hand was pretty good too, as far as our deck goes. Let's get rid of the Niv Mizzet. I don't know, Niv can like ping stuff. I don't actually want those Knight of Autumns. Yeah, Cruel Celebrant's good. Yeah, just check out ch check out the info panel about it, Softball Wolf. There's a, you know, I, I wrote all about it. Just scroll on over to the info panel there. Want to know how it, how it all works? What color do you think would pair better with Kefnet? They don't they don't have any lands. Mind. They now have lands. Alright, we need a green land. We don't have very many of them. But we need a green land. Oath of Kaya is pretty great. But I should probably just look for a green land. If we find a green land, then we get to really take over. I think Woodland Cemetery is our green land. Not green card, at green land. Hey, cancel. Still have blue, black, red, white, green, okay. Hooray! Hinterland Harbor. Another green land. Alright, how many cards do we draw? Two! Sweet. At least we had an awesome animation. So there's uh, three, six, seven. So yeah, it was seven lands. I want to select them. Are you selecting them? You better be selecting these. They look like they're selected. All right, good. <laughs> All right, we only drew two cards. Hooray! Yeah, we scried seven lands down there. Um, Ugh. Yeah, it's a five mana six six flying draw two. 
We had to work for it, but that's still pretty good. I mean, that's... It's not bad. So we need white mana here. I mean, I love having Deafening Clarion, but we need white mana. We have more white mana than red mana. Let's go that we have red mana. What do y'all think about this hand? I think we can keep this. Uh, there's... There's no status on London Mulligan Rule impl implementation right now. Or implementation, sorry. Implementation. There's no... No! That was the whole reason why I kept the hand, was for Daphne and Clarion. Keep everything? I like that. I like that plan. Perfect. It's working out. Ow. Our hand is working. So we want to... I think we probably want to draw a land and Teferi Tuck the Butcher. I mean, because if I just cast Kai's Wrath, I die. Oh, I'm, I'm just dead. Yeah, I'm just dead. Man, that Butcher looked sweet there. It's good when your opponent can't do anything the first bunch of turns and you're on the play. Looked great there. We could have shocked and played Dim Visit. I guess we should have done that for science. Sorry, my bad. All right, let's not play against the super aggro deck. Yeah, even if, if we, if we Teferi talked to the big creature, we are still taking lethal. Well, we we're gonna, we we're going to one and with Judith and with both those creatures on the battlefield, we we're, were dead. Stop with these aggro decks. Stop. All these aggro decks doing. Happy Spark Day! Thank you so much for that sub there, Fitz. Fourteenth sub of the day. <clears throat> All right, Kaya's wrath. Kaya's wrath. Kaya's wrath. Kaya's wrath. Hooray! So they get to save their Sky Marcher Aspirant. How's the day? The day is going a lot better now that we drew that Kaiser Ath. <laughs> Ugh, stop. All right, deafening Clarion. Didn't work. Hmm. Not enchantment.
Hey. Todd Will the Kaiser at the top deck. Thank, thanks, Jelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sucker creature. I won't hide from the world any longer. I'll right, we'll just get rid of this knight that's going to hit for a bunch. Keep them from flipping think. Legion's Landing. Alright, we need to draw Niv Mizzet or, or Krasis. Like, this is where we get to this point of the game. We need to draw one of those Niv Mizzet or Krasis. I like that a lot. I suppose that's how Instead of them just attacking happen. Teferi and getting off the battlefield. Now, if we draw Mortify, we can get a, a Teferi back. Or just, you know, anything that gets rid of a tribunal. Niv Mizzet or Krasis? It's maybe just Krasis or Sweeper. Dang. How can we draw none of our eight good cards? We got four Nim visits, four Krasis in here for a reason. Um, I think I kind of want to just take Thought Erasure out of the deck here in this matchup. We're going late. Yeah, we don't need Thought Erasure. And then Niv Mizzet out. And... Take the Relic Seeker or Teferi. Teferi. Alright. Mizzou Steve. With the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Mizzou Steve. Thank you so much for that support there. Glad you're enjoying it. Onzerus, you don't need to call, don't need to use that language. That's not necessary. Okay, let's keep this. Uh, we'll go with, start with the Dragon Skull Summon. We need to draw a land. Draw a land. We got 26 lands in the stack. We saw it like that last game. Um, we had so many lands. We can draw a land here. No, deck. We just need one land. One more land. We can start going with these lanterns. Deck, why do you do this? Okay, we got there. We got the land. Um, do I want to go Deafening Clarion or Oath of Kaya? I want to keep them from flipping landing, right? So I should probably play one of those. Let's go Oath of Kaya. Why not? Either one would not let them flip. Oh, that's a really good hand. Ugh. I 
They just have more Adant. They just have double Adanto Vanguard, double Negate? Okay. I thought they had another Negate. I was going to say. All those lands last game are just stuck this game. We're not going to beat Adanto Vanguard. Real good card against my Deafening Clarions and Kaiserats. All right, let's try again. Maybe we won't face hyper aggro deck. It's a great day to just be playing the really hyper aggro decks against, you know, day one when people are trying to do weird janky stuff. Yeah, I got a donation to make a Gideon deck. That's a good convenient curve for them. Oh wait, they can't they can only cast one. Okay, we're good. Alright, so we'll go Oath of Kaya on the chain whirler. Chromatic Lantern's a really good draw. Turns on our niv it. So next turn we can go Lantern plus Discovery, or I could just... Could just play a Cycle Crasis next turn. I kind of like Cycle Crasis. But the good part about playing Lantern, though, is we get to turn on niv it for next turn. And yeah, I definitely want to play Niv Mizzet next turn, right? So this this brings us down to eight. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. All right, well we're going Lantern. That thing comes into play tapped. So let's go Lantern. Okay. I forgot to check that. Looks like I'm going to have to play Krasis next turn. Nope, can't even play Krasis now. Alright, so we'll have Dovin's Vetoes to counter stuff. All of these things.
I just don't have time to cast discoveries in this kind of matchup. Like, what if I just don't play discovery or thought erasure? I just have to naturally draw a chromatic lantern. Oath of Kaya is much, much better than Moment of Craving. Alright, Vivian Bill for Soul Tight, Instant Speed, Krasis, and Hostage Takers. Alright. So we'll have. A Gideon deck, and then. Soul Tight Vivian. Let's kind of write these down. So those are going to be our next two. So we'll have Gideon and then Sultai Vivian. You know, we'll rename those as, like, when applicable. Why do you need basics with Lantern? Oh, yeah, no problem, like Zoe. Let's play this. No, Grixis was fine. We just lost a lot of close matches. And lost to aggro decks. Also, which I knew was going to be a tough matchup. Just lost to other blue-black decks. Just kind of one of those days. Draw a sweeper, please. Thank you. All right, we still got this. Still got this. Perfect draw step. Got this. Gain four. We're just keeping Dovin's vetoes up. Um, yeah, Gruel was certainly good. Um, it's 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 a lot easier to to build a proactive deck right away and, and be a proactive deck than a reactive deck. I can. It's no not really stand any. By and watch. Surprise to do worse with a reactive Time deck immediately. B. Don't make another move. Hold that thought. All right, in case they have a haste creature. We need to move quickly. So now, if they have a haste creature and attack to fairy, we at least trigger the Oath of Kaya. I probably should not be attacking with the Knight of Autumn, but I was just going for it. 
Yeah, we just got a thirty dollar donation a little bit ago to build the Sultai Vivian deck, right? Like there was an, another one after that, right? Did I miss another one after after Sway? No, I think that was the, yeah, that was the last one. I think you can gain a lot of life. So we're going to have Kaya's Wrath on turn 4 on the draw, and hope we're not dead by then. And then we can play a Johnny and start gaining a lot of life. 3 life a turn's a lot. Oh, Steamkin could kill us. Ooh. Well, we'll see if we draw another land if we can play Othakaya instead of Chromatic Lantern. Uh, it'd be nice to play the... Oath of Kaya first. Maybe I just need to play the Oath of Kaya first anyway. Honestly. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's do that. Alright. Oath of Kaya. Unfortunately, the Hinterland Harbor is not going to come into play untapped. Yeah, Stream Decker is down. It'd be great to be able to play a Johnny here. Play another creature. 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 More creatures, please. I think we got this. Okay, maybe we don't. <laughs> I think we got Honor this. Gain courage. three. That's a lot now, of life. Do you see the benefits of peace? If they attack a Johnny, we have Othakaya. Dude, this is sweet. I think we got this. Yeah, they're not even going to attack. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? Yeah, do you see the benefits of peace upon it? A Johnny the Great Hearted. Red Deck couldn't deal with it. Every turn. Tick up, gain three. The opponent finally figured out the benefits of peace and stopped attacking. And there we go. Esper deck with Othakaya and Otha Teferi. Yeah, there could be an Esper Legends deck. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oath of Kaya is definitely going in our, like, a Esper Legends for sure. Nice, you're doing good with Gideon and Oketra in the Legends deck. Very next. Very nice. Well, this, this mana casts Kaya's Wrath. Let's lead with the two. Like, these are going to come into play tapped, and then we can play Hallowed Fountain. Ugh. Another red deck? Come on. I don't think this opponent has figured out the benefits of peace yet. They got the War of the Spark Land. That's cool.
Stop. Play another creature so I can Kai's Wrath it away. So keeping Mortify for a Frenzy. Next turn we can we can play a Johnny and start ticking up and start gaining a lot of life. Looks like we're going Mortify. Looks like they have a land on top. Maybe. Nope. Another shock. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Same world is kind of rough. This. You know, I'm, I'm blocking any attack. Of course. That's a great turn for us. <clears throat> Get that chain whirler out of here. Ooh. Creatures we control have vigilance. But we could be much greater together. Now do you see the benefits of What a peace? turn. Lifelink. Vigilant Crisis. Back up to eleven. Dude, a Jotty is nice. Yeah, I love this a Jotty. Alright, is it. Draw two. <laughs> it's cool animation. There goes all those lands. Seven lands again. Both times we've played it, we've seen seven lands. <laughs> we've only drawn two. Ooh. Another is it. Now do you see the benefits of peace? We're back up to 14. I just want to play niv again before we kill our opponent. Two hits again? Seven lands again? It's again seven lands. Ever all three times now. It's been seven lands drawn too. That is crazy. Turn back while you still can. All three times. Seven lands, and then one other card, either a lantern or a niv mizzet, and then draw two. All right, let's get. This Oath of Kaya. This game's been more laggy today than normal. Alright, I liked our plan of just cutting Discovery and Thought Erasure and just hoping that our mana and everything is great. I'm glad we have a Johnny <coughs> Greyhearted in this deck. That card's been awesome against these red decks.
All right, just finishing up the gruel mid range for um, YouTube. It's four twenty-five nineteen. Okay. All right, so our mana base looks difficult to say the least. be taking the two damage anyway might as well just take the two damage and have them sac sacrifice the creature So steam vents is blue and red. This is not blue or red. That's not blue or red. This is blue or red. So we can play this. So we can play lantern. So the next turn we can play Othakaya. All right, just go with uh, Domri. You can't do Ilharg. Go with Domri. Kaiserath, the old Hinterland Harbor, Steam Vents, Dragon Skull Summit, <laughs> Kaiserath. <laughs> Do you love playing Hinterland Harbor, Steam Vents into Kaiserath? It's my favorite. It is my favorite. Chromatic Lantern, completely necessary. Yeah, Grixis is, is the kind of deck where you need things to line up, and nothing was really lining up for us with Grixis before. Play Runaway Steamkin. Alright, we need to draw our good spells. Niv Mizzet. Um, uh, a Johnny or Hydroid Crisis. I guess we're going to just go ahead and throw this Othakaya up at them just to gain the three life to make sure we don't die to a 3 damage burn spell. Oh no! Draw something! No! They world world dumb chains. All right, we're on the play. So far, when we've had a Johnny, we've done a lot better than when we have not had a Johnny. Uh, just saying. A Johnny seems to be the card that we need to 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 play. Yeah, I want to kind of play a Selesnya deck now for as a Johnny. Okay, we could use a Chromatic Lantern. That would not be bad. Hey, what's up, Zerf? 
It's going good. We are playing some Niv Mizzet Jank here, five color deck, and we keep on playing against aggro decks. So far, we have played against um, mono red, mono white, mono red, and mono red. No, 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 no. We played against. Sorry, we played against a Mardu. We played against Mardu, new Mardu aggro. Looks like our opponent kept a zero lander by accident. That happens sometimes. You accidentally click keep instead of mulligan. That can happen. So we need one more land to be able to play Niv Mizzet or Teferi. Let's go with Niv Mizzet. Problem with Niv Mizzet here is we may just draw too many cards. <laughs> no, it's the draw two. This time it was six lands. Draw two. Wasn't seven land draw two. We saw Niv Mizzet and and Chromatic Lantern in there. Let's, let's skip to the good part. We have too many too many cards, but it, we should be just fine. Yeah, look how good this deck is. Look at this board state. Look at this one board state, and don't look at anything else. But. Look at how deck look how good our deck is. No time for a break. Well, Oath of, of Kaya do the damage upstairs. We got a two turn clock with this Niv Mizzet. Yeah, Oath, Oath is any target. Yeah, Oath is even like real good in aggro decks. Because, you know, it's just, it's, you know, deal three upstairs. So even like aggro decks are going to want that as like their removal spell. All right, we're two and two. We are two and oh against Model Red in this league. So yeah, yet yeah, is it possible to do Ronus plus Ilharg? I said Domri because I thought you were struggling with finding Ilharg. But you found Ilharg, so do you have Ronus also? Ah, cool. The Gideon deck could be Selesnia. Yeah, we could probably do a Selesnia Gideon deck. I was thinking of an Orzov deck. We could maybe do Selesnia. This looks like a Mardu control deck that we got right now. Mm. 
looks. I think you will find my notes helpful. Cameo. Hmm. I don't like this Tamio. Helps you find Wilderness Reclamation. Oh, right. Can't sacrifice permanents. I don't I like this Tamio even less. Alright, so I'm just gonna yeah, I'm gonna just use that uh yeah, if you can't find Ronus, I'm just gonna use this one. It's all good. I know I noted this somewhere. Reclamation's even better. Yuck. We don't need more cards that are good with Wilderness Reclamation. Yeah, Tamio prevents you from sacrificing. All right, good news is our opponent didn't really see our deck at all. I'm gonna cut one each. I'm gonna trim one each of our crisis and then it like card draw cards. No, Time Raveler. This is what Time Raveler is for. Time Raveler makes them. They can only cast spells sorcery speed, so Wilderness Reclamation does nothing. Time Raveler shuts down Wilderness Reclamation. That's the whole reason why we have it in our sideboard. Yeah, Dylan's veto is awesome. London Mulligan rule will likely be a good would likely be a good addition for standard. I you know haven't played with it, but. Seems like it would be. I'm glad no chemistry's inside there.
Yeah, so it looks like they have a sinister sabotage that they have to go along with their, you know, they, they're trying to re resolve their um, spell with. All right, a lot of cards. Come on, Niv, give me a lot of cards. Oh, are they bouncing Niv? Wow, bounce Niv. Just get it, get another trigger with it. Woo! All right, we got a a knight, a Niv, and a Krasis. We got three cards. Man, this deck is sweet. No, the trigger is an it's an ETB trigger, so it only happens whenever you enter the battlefield. All right. Ugh, our deck is great. Can we win one more game? Now our opponent really knows what we're doing. They didn't really know what we were doing before. And Dovin's veto was really clutch with, like, how they played Escanta with five mana because then they had the Sinister Sabotage for backup. And we're just like, nah, that backup doesn't work. So there we go. Yep, good looking hand. <clears throat> no. Being on the play. I don't have green mana right now, do I? Tilt. Tilt. This card's so good, but I don't have green mana. This is so risky. This is like our most important card. Dealt. Ah, uh, I just. So hopefully they didn't have specifically negate. Ugh. That was so risky. Yeah, everything. Okay, well, got, you know, completely punished. Yeah, I wanted to try to see if we could could fit that in there while they didn't have two blue. And that's going to cost me the game. Should just waited with the vetoes. Should just wait. And there's green mana. Dang.
Come on. Come on. We're going to have to re reset arena or something. It's... There we go. We didn't have the mana requirements to play Niv Mizzet. Alright, so as Kanta is flipped, if I draw land here, I can play Teferi and Tuck Wilderness Reclamation. Well, now if they just go with the Nexus of Fate. Okay, no. So, yeah, they're still just, they're not keeping. So, we can Tuck Wilderness Reclamation now. Good. And counter the next wellness reclamation. This isn't a fight you can win. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Well, I'm going to let them, like, if they cast Nexus of Fate, I think I just let it resolve. Keep up the pace. Because Nexus of Fate does... Shuffle all that stuff back. Or, like, does shuffle away that Wilderness Reclamation. So, do I want to play Niv Mizzet now? And then I only have one counter spell available for a Wilderness Reclamation. The pro so, basically, the problem with playing Niv Mizzet, they activate Escanta, they could draw the other Reclamation. All right, now we're, we're just playing it. Well, that is true. Nexus would shuffle even if we countered it. That's true. Wow. That is great. That was great. We get a Teferi. We can resolve Teferi. I know my responsibility. I can bounce my Niv Mizzet and draw cards. Here we go. That's pretty cool. So they can only cast sorcery speed spells, so they can't they still can't counter also. They do get two turns. But Wilderness Reclamation doesn't help them too much. So we'll just counter this. This reclamation doesn't doesn't matter too much, so let's get counter that blink of an eye. I mean, it does, they do get to activate as Kanta instant speed, but that's it. And we can dispersal that, like our next turn, dispersal Dovin's Veto. But remember, they get they get the next turn also. Here.
Yeah, like, so it... No, they found another blink of an eye? Oh, come on. Really? <sighs> Alright, well, I guess I just should not have played the Teferi, I guess. I guess I should have just kept the other veto up. That Teferi was just... Really tempting. Yeah, Gruul did, Gruul did its thing. It smashed. Come on. Yep. That's game. So, I mean, it was all... I mean, I, I, I threw that away on turn three. If I just play differently on turn three... Let's do a, a reset here. If I just play differently on turn three, that game is, like, really easy for us. But we still had it... We almost got there, you know. But I, I certainly threw that game away on turn three by just playing my Planeswalker when they had the one blue, thinking that I could maybe sneak it in, but they had the negate. And then, you know, they had the exact cards... To, the exact two cards I, that made my play horrible negate and then wilderness reclamation oh man side drops hurried they're so really sorry to hear all that um but yeah glad uh glad nothing's too broken you just gotta get a sit back relax watch some more of the spark Um, do I think crafting Niv Mizzet's worth it? Probably not. I mean, if you have, like, your limited number of cards trying to craft, this deck's pretty janky. But... but it's been fun to play. I feel bad for ruining that game on the turn three, like I did. Janky magic is most fun magic. This might be a Dovin's Veto battle. I don't know why they would revitalize first, because I'm certainly not taking revitalize, so they just gave me... By casting revitalize there, I just have more information on like what to take. Because there's no way I'm taking... The revitalize. So kept the woodland cemetery in, in case our opponent did counter in case they did counter a chromatic lantern, because then we wouldn't have any green sources if they did. I didn't consider that at all, Cold War, but that's not a bad, that's not a bad idea, but I hadn't considered that, making a YouTube video of cards that are safe to craft. Alright, so we're looking for... More card advantage. More, more crisis. More Niv Mizzet. So 
So they bounced it, but they didn't... Hmm. So, like, they want to counter this Chromatic Lantern? I would like them to counter that Chromatic Lantern. I am just fine with that counter spell there. I think Feather is good. Yeah, I think Feather is good. That's four counter spells so far. Don't worry. This is all just an illusion. This will come in handy. No, Teferi. You sacrifice a planeswalker. So we know we get to resolve Raska now. I will fight them. War of the Spark cards for a Soul Tide deck. Um, maybe. Maybe Narset in the sideboard. Long. Stand by and watch. Or control decks. Um. Ooh. I would rather the rampage get countered here than Niv Mizzet. Um. Hey, Perry Grip. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub there. I'm sure there's other things than besides just that. Hey, all right, we got three cards, including Krasis and Thought Erasure. Two really nice ones, being able to Thought Erasure. Good thing our opponent activated the Escanta already. So we can go Thought Erasure away this Teferi. Thank you. Take no prisoners. Unmoored Ego for getting rid of Nexus of Fate. That can certainly be worth it. Unmoored Ego is... It's not the worst card. Oh, I didn't even get hype boats in there. Thank you, Math Matthew, for getting hype boats in the chat for Perry Grip. And now Judge Fudge with the tier three sub. I totally want to see Jess Guy in this format. Well, tier three sub means you get a donation deck. Thank you so much, Judge Fudge. So. Tell me, like, would you like me to make a, a Jeskai deck? And any anything more than just making a Jeskai deck, you know? Like, do you have any, any like, uh, you know, like, what kind of Jeskai built around, like, what cards? Um, you know, anything, anything like that for me? But I, I can make a Jeskai deck. Love it. Love all those people getting the hype boats in there. Thanks, everybody. Okay, just Jess guy. Like, do you want to be control? Like, just guy control? This is 
64. Or just anything. Just got mid-range? Okay. Okay, we may not have time to get to Just Guy mid-range tonight, honestly. Like with building the other two decks and playing them. I'm putting it there on the list. Okay, if not, I'll, I'll do yours tomorrow if that sounds good, Judge Fudge. Because we may not have time. All right, I gotta cut some stuff. We're about to about to leave, so I decided just to cut the anti-enchantment stuff. Even though it's probably just the Escantas, so I just decided to cut those, and then I had to cut something else, and I just kind of cut the discovery. Cool. So if I go with your deck tomorrow, um, you know, if I if I do like my normal stream time from three to ten, which honestly I may be getting on early tomorrow. But is there like around, uh, is there like around a specific specific time during the day that works better for you? <laughs> yeah, I like to be uh, accommodating. So, you know, like around this time tomorrow, like around seven o'clock ish. After five, okay. So that's good for me to know. So I know after five. I got some other War of the Spark decks to build as well that people have donated for here recently. Did I just not keep Dovin's Veto up when I could have? That doesn't seem great. My prowess put thoughtfulness before action. All right, so just guy mid range. After five. Ooh, I should play or just even model black aggro. Yeah, new new Liliana's pretty strong. I'm not sure if I actually want to activate this Narset here. Because I kind of have too many cards in my hand right now. Oh. Alright, well. Yep, I would like these cards, please. Like I said, kind of have too many cards in my hand. Why do you have to have Dovin's Veto? I have Dovin's Veto. I guess Tilt is like just saying, it's a saying uh, for like meaning that you're upset that something happened. Say it. I'm not actually upset. Um, 
We're just going to try this. Hopefully no Dovin's Veto over there. All right. Let's slow this down. Get that out of here. You need to take a time out. Looks like they had another Ascanta. So much for... <laughs> they have all sorts of Ascantas. All right, green mana. Keep up the pace. Green mana. Not green mana. So I could dispersal this as Kanta and then counter it on the way back, but they have another one coming here also. Yeah, new Teferi does. <clears throat> Turn all counter spells into Dovin's vetoes. That is true. All right, we're three and three overall. We're three and one in this league. Or no, four and one. Oh no, I I wrote it as three two last time, but it was supposed to be two three. I just wrote it wrong. So yeah, three and three overall now. Three and one in this league. Five color reborn coming back. Yuck. Could have a discovery for turn two. Yeah, I guess so. No, not the red deck. Even though we're 2-0 against red in this league, I still don't want to face it. How does Niv work? So for, you just look at, so you reveal the top 10 cards of your library and each color pair, like this is the black white one for each like individual color pair, you know, you can, you can draw a card. So you can draw an Orzhov card and you can draw a Demir card and you can draw a Gruul card and an Azorius card and all that kind of stuff. Draw a Rakdos card, draw a Simic card. Yeah, our opponents. Yeah, our opponent has not done very much here, which is good for us. I have to shock to play Niv Mizzet next turn. I think if they play Chain Whirler, I'm just going to Othakaya and put a tap land in. If they didn't have anything on one or two, then you'd assume they'd have Chain Whirler. Mm. I could just play the Niv. So Niv did... No, we cannot play Niv. This is going to enter tapped. Yeah, that's just going to enter tapped. Um, let's go with the Kaya. Niv does dig us pretty hard for a Johnny, which is good. A Johnny is our card that we really want to see in this matchup. Oath of Kaya, so good. Removal plus gain three life. Like, three's a lot of life. All right, here we go. Roll them dice. How many do we get? Woo! Get all the cards. So we get one, two, three, four, five. Draw five? Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm gonna take all those cards. Oh, we have to discard one. Um, all these cards are so good. <laughs> that was sweet. Uh, Teferi or Niv? What am I... No, I'm not discarding Teferi because Teferi can deal with... Do I discard another Niv? That seems weird. Discard Kai's Wrath? Alright, Kai's Wrath down. No, we're not discarding a Krasis. Those gain life. And... No, Krasis... Krasis is awesome. I like how Angrass Rampage can, like, double spell. I, we don't probably don't need the Kai's Wrath. Clarion can give our creatures lifelink. So we have lifelink with Clarion. We gain life with a Johnny. Yeah, we're looking good. <laughs> like I would block that. So the plan next turn is, I guess we need to draw land, but draw land, play a Johnny and Clarion. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, play more creatures. More creatures. Oh, double Wizard's Lightning? Uh, Wizard's Skewer. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you got me. So we're gonna still clear on these things away, but now I only have three mana. Let's do this to look for more lands. Those are more lands. We'll put, we'll get the Shock Land first. Wait a turn to play a Johnny. <clears throat> Sacrifice a creature. Oath of Kaya only deals damage to them. It doesn't deal like Oath of Kaya doesn't protect. You like they could still attack the Johnny kind of thing. They would just take some damage and I would gain some life. Now do you see the benefits of peace? So what other card should go on the YouTube thumbnail besides Niv Mizzet Reborn for this deck? Is it Chromatic Lantern? Yeah, I guess I guess Chromatic Lantern. So we know sideboarding, we're bringing in all the Dovin's Vetoes, the Othakaya's, Kaya's Wrath, Clarion, Knight of Autumn, all of those. We cut Niv, Vraska. Wait, we talked about just, yeah, cutting rid of, yeah, then Oath. Yeah, Thought Erasure Discovery. Okay. Lantern's boring for a thumbnail. What else? So then what else besides Niv Misery Born? Because, you know, we're doing two arts. What's the other card? Because, like, basically all the other cards are, like, new cards are sideboard. At least a lot of them are. Is it Othakaya? I could do, maybe Othakaya. You got the art for a Johnny? See, like, Chromatic Lantern shows that it's a five-color deck. We could use both Niv-Mizzets. We do have both Niv-Mizzets in this deck. 
That is true. We could do that. All right. Clarion is an awesome card, and keeping this because of Clarion. No, not Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, go go with like both the Niv Mizzets. Yeah, because it's called Five Color Reborn, right? So like we're we can do like old old Niv Mizzet, and then then reborn into new Niv Mizzet. Well, we had three draw steps to draw land. We did not. Up to the two lander. Hey, Don. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much, Don. Now, nah, get to paradise doesn't doesn't work. And Ko Wrath also with a Twitch Prime sub that gets us to twenty on the day. Our next sub goal hit. Which with our next with that being our next sub goal. I believe that means that we have unlocked another sub battle stream, I believe. Yes, that is sub battle day 15 out of 15. Sub battle day unlocked. I'm going to update that. 15 out of 15. So now we have to determine when's our next day that we're going to do a sub battle day now. All right, just just get out of here. Thank you so much Don Robo and Kareth. Dun, 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 dun. If you're unfamiliar with what a sub battle day is, that's whenever I just play against subscribers all day. Do we wait until next weekend? I know we've we've been doing them on the weekends uh, previously. So what do y'all think? Do we wait till next weekend? Uh, I mean, well. I and mean, we could do, like, technically this weekend. Yeah, today's Thursday, so we could do this weekend. Hmm. <clears throat> Man, if we just draw white mana. Clarion is great for us. This hand can die doing nothing. Make a Selesnia beatdown deck. Gideon certainly helps with the Selesnia beatdown decks. Certainly helps there. Uh, last sub battle day I was 16 and 6. I'll play the summit here just in case we draw like the white source that we need to clarion. on. Yeah, I could brew that one. We could we could make that next for our Gideon deck. We just have to we're making it we just have to build a deck with Gideon next. Okay, white mana. Unlocked. There we go. Next turn Niv Mizzet or Teferi, either one. We probably want to go with Niv Mizzet and look for life gain stuff. Because it looks like they're just gonna risk factor. Okay, never mind. I drew this Dovin's Veto. If you hurry.
All right, veto this risk factor. I know, Hawkeye, we're still in it. Let's skip to the good part. Ooh. Okay, so we probably want to gain life here and make sure that we don't... Make sure we don't die to eight points of burn if they, you know, just have burn. Even though, of course, playing Reborn... Playing Reborn and then life-linking it would be, like, the best, but as you can see here, I could see them just having eight points of burn in their hand. They could have had, you know, st strike and then stage, stage, or something like that. <clears throat> Love it. Hold that thought. Or should I go Oath of Kaya, gain three, and then hold up Veto? I mean, that's just our safest play still. No time for a break. I will teach you humility. Now do you see the benefits Ooh. of peace? This is a close one. So they had another Wizard's Lightning. I would have just lost there by being greedy and going for that to mortify. Man, I almost, almost lost this. Yeah, Johnny with, again, with the You're Dead Mono Red. Great top deck. That's what kind of happens when you draw two cards a turn with Teferi. You get great top decks. And a Johnny is awesome, Hawkeye. Is that why you came up here? So we could get it a Johnny? Hawkeye was like, I know you could use it a Johnny. So I'm coming on up here. Well, thank you. That was really nice of you. Thank you. All right, we're four and one. After going 0-2, running it back. We're four and one. We're 3-0 against Mono Red in this league. So that's shows you how good Oath of Kaya and Oath of Kaya and Johnny together. Real good. So let's get our final boss music going. There we go. Y'all get your final boss emotes in the chat. And can Five Color Reborn defeat the final boss? Down, down. Ooh, we haven't seen any mono blue today, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, if we beat the final boss, then I broke the format day one, confirm. <laughs> Our colors are kind of all over the place, but that's probably good. Well, this doesn't look like... This doesn't look like Mono Red if they're playing Warlord's Fury, so yeah, it looks like a, like a Drake kind of deck. 
Phoenix Drakes, that kind of stuff. It'd be nice if this was instant speed that we could play, you know, here and then untap and play a Johnny. You think this is Rao combo? I could see that. See, that would have been really nice to be able to play this their turn. Sacrifice a Planeswalker, please. Any Planeswalker, you can choose which one. Alright, good luck, Matthew. God eternal heaven. I think smaller than Nim is it. I only drew two cards. Just just a thought erasure and a mortify. Just put a bunch of lands and other Nim down there. We're supposed to at least find a Krasis. Y'all know how like Krasis usually draws Krasis? Usually when you look at the top ten, you're supposed to find a Krasis. That's alright. We got a Johnny though, Hawkeye. So we're good. We've been drawing two a lot with Niv Mizzet. A lot of times it's been a draw two. We did get a draw five once. So Johnny gives our Niv Mizzet Vigilance, so we can start attacking with Vigilant. Vigilant. So that's cool. First gonna Thought Erasure next turn and then kinda decide if we need to go with like Mortify, go with Thought Erasure. Or what. Alright, Finale of Devastation. Gets to recast Opt and Crash Through. Turn it into three mana, a little bit better divination. Humility, if I must. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? So I don't mind. I don't mind trading my Niv Mizzet and Kefnet, or my Niv Mizzet for a Kefnet and a Shock, because we have another Niv Mizzet coming. Yuck. So they're copying the finale of promise, casting it for two. So they get to chart a course. So their their Kefnet does have first strike, so just blocking here doesn't doesn't actually trade. Let's just take the four. We're gonna just, you know take up a Johnny and gain three life again.
Hmm. Oh yeah, Nivmeza does not have trample. Blue, white, black, green. New cards. There we go. All right, so we had a Krasis, a Deafening Clarion, a Kaya's Wrath, a Teferi, and a Thought Erasure. There's our cards. I'll take that nice draw five. Thank you. And left mana up so we could Thought Erasure. Let's take the Finale of Promise. That was awesome. Man, our deck is so cool. Even Hawkeye's up here sitting, looking at that one. Oh. They drew another Finale of Promise? Stop. That was a card they drew for turn, I guess. Opponent's deck's pretty cool too. Doing all their Kefnet final finale of promise stuff. Alright, so we can double Clarion. But then I guess they get to just shock my Niv if I do that. Hmm. I can go to Fairy, Tuck Crackling, Drake, attack them for seven. It's also Mortify. Sorry, I'm late. All right, so Teferi's gonna die. Time is much more malleable than people think. This I'll is take that trade. My worst defeat. We got now enough card advantage and everything. Benefits of peace. We get to play a six-six crisis next turn, and make it a seven-seven if we'd like. Cool, Zoe, you're trying this deck right now? Really fun? Nice. Do y'all like this uh, Mission Impossible theme in the final boss playlist? Dun, 
dun dun dun. Thank you, Yud. Alright, so that's gonna bring back Phoenix. Do they just have the one Phoenix still? I haven't really been paying that close attention over here. Okay, just the one Phoenix still. I guess we just kill them. We'll kill them with this card that they know about. Niv Mizzet Reborn. So they have a ton of non creature spells. So maybe we should be playing Dovin's Veto. Definitely think we, we, we definitely need to spark. To spark in Othakaya out. Clarion's out. So I guess we're playing some of these other things. Um. Oh, Narset's just insane here. Yeah, Narset's just insane. Gotta play Narset. Don't think we need a Johnny. The best thing to counter is those Finale of Promises. You think Teferi's really good? Why is that? They're gonna they're casting all their things sorcery speed, so that doesn't that doesn't do anything. Like every spell they cast there was sorcery speed, besides like that one shock at end step. So it's like bounce draw card. Yeah. Oh yeah, old Teferi is better than new Teferi overall. Yeah. But if you are playing against like um, like overall, but yeah, there there are certainly there are definitely certain certain times where the new Teferi is gonna be better. Uh, like if we're playing against Wellness Reclamation, for example. Try to make it difficult for... Make it difficult for this Phoenix to come back. I'm glad they just used that crash through there. All willy-nilly. Ugh, two Crackling Drakes? Gross. I was going to take the Crackling Drake, but now there's another one. Yes, Lantern is miles better than Mox Amber for this deck. This deck's built around Chromatic Lantern. Mox Amber would would just be a blank card in this deck. It wouldn't. It would have no text. It would just be zero mana artifacts. Seriously, another Crackling Drake? Well, that's bad. That's bad. This isn't a. You know what? I'm not done yet. So ticking up to try to find green mana so that we can have our own I 
to be able to fight this, but it's not going to matter. Alright, let's try it again. Hey James, good morning. Yeah, we played at New Bolus earlier. We lost basically all of our matches, but uh, things just kind of didn't go our way. It was uh, a lot of close games against other blue-black decks, um, or us getting run over by aggro, like one of those kind of two things. But I think the card is strong, and it just wasn't wasn't our league. What you got? Let's get rid of this chart, of course. You know, chart, of course, gets to draw two plus put a phoenix in the bin. It's basically like draw three. And that's pretty good. Draw three, that's pretty good. We're going to be not drawing, drawing three, not next turn, but the turn after. Next turn, we're going to go Goblet Shrine, Chromatic Lantern. And then the next turn, we'll have... I guess we're only going to have seven lands. We won't be drawing three. Ooh. Oh, sorry, okay. Um, all right, we're playing that. I guess. I don't know. We don't, we can't protect it at all. So I cannot go minus two. Because Phoenix kills it if I minus two. It's kind of the worst time to have this card, but and still playing it. Are bound by threads of time. With an incoming phoenix, it's not a good time for us to, to see it. What? How are they not just playing Arclight Phoenix there? Or even Crackling Drake? Or anything? What is going on? They just want to hold up a counter spell, so they just want to hold up like Disdainful Stroke? What? Do I just pass back then? Hone your prowess. Do have Disdainful Stroke? They have double Phoenix? So now if they play Phoenix to kill Narset, they don't get Disdainful Stroke. Meditate and prepare. No. My Niv Mizzets. You have to spark. That card's great against Arclight Phoenix. Uh, 
this yeah, I've been, I've definitely been impressed with Narset. Um, you know, vulnerable only having a minus ability, but still an impressive card. That's that was really unfortunate, putting both of our, or putting two Nivmizits down at the bottom. That was really unfortunate. With that Narset, you know, like that's just bad timing. We have, a Niv we have one of those Niv Mizzets in our deck, too. So Krasis is for five if I play Krasis here. Let's do it. Good. Krasis found another Krasis. Basically, I want the defense against, you know, like, they definitely get to get, like, they get to get Phoenix back if they would like. Bacon bolt. No, miss it's a good card. So it drew them two and dealt four to us. That's what that Niv Mizzet did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> well, Relic Seeker would have been a better card to have against that Niv Mizzet than making them sacrifice, but oh well, we'll still take it. So there's 28 cards left in our library. We know we have two Niv Mizzets down at the bottom. We would like to find another one of those two, another one of those other two, um, or of course drawing our last Krasis, drawing a Teferi, anything like that. Or just a land. Prepare the gallows. We've got company. I think I'm supposed to play defense. Challenge you want, then a challenge you'll get. King Toll, come on.
deck has so much staying power at the end game. This finale devastation card is really good. They have 21 cards left, we have 27. We're gonna deal with these phoenixes. Like I did not really build my deck with answers to Arc Light Phoenix. Show no mercy. The Phoenix are just going to keep coming back. We need a Niv Mizzet Reborn. We're over halfway through our deck. Haven't seen one yet. Niv Mizzet Reborn. Niv Mizzet Reborn. Whenever Niv Mizzet Reborn looks at 10 cards, it's going to be basically our, our entire library. You know, that's, or at least that's, that's half our library, at least. Look. Gets a look at half our library. Go find like our Teferi, you know, Teferi, another Thought Erasure, Krasis, all sorts of stuff. Like we put, we put two on the bottom. Niv Mizzets, I believe. Did we put three? We put two on the bottom. Well, there's one off the first activation also, so there there are three at the bottom. We've exiled one phoenix. We have one exile removal spell in our deck. And we use it to exile one phoenix. I don't have any more exile removal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Niv. The belligerent needs her crew. Hoping they don't have an additional five points of direct damage here.
Hmm. Soon enough. Yeah, maybe I maybe I should have pinged the the one one. I guess. I train every day. No one is. See what else we get. I have just the trick for this. So yeah, they're they're definitely holding up counter spell. How they didn't play the the bacon bolt. Previously, I guess they could have double disdainful stroke. All right, let's find some removal. Still have seven mana left. So mortify, hydroid crisis, thought erasure, and to fairy. We'll go with the Teferi. I'm known for my excellent timing. Tuck. Let's take it back. Come on. Come on, Arena. Finish us out. This has been an epic match. Got Sephiroth theme playing. And we have defeated the final boss with our epic, epic match there. Five and one. Five color reborn. We started with an 0-2 against two aggro decks that just kind of ran us over. Reset, you know, took our breath. Started a new match. Um, ended up beating three mono... Or started a new league. Ended up beating three mono reds. So it's not like we didn't go back and reface our, our demons of the aggro decks. Yeah, five five color reborn was was really cool. Niv animation was awesome. Um, I don't know our deck was sweet. I liked this deck. This is this is a lot of fun. Our our opponent's last deck was really cool too, and that was just an epic epic game, epic match. That was sweet. Yeah, just good good games all around. That was really cool. Um. There we go, five color reborn. Hey, what's up, J Jack Jr.? Welcome back. You're totally making this deck in paper now. Nice. <laughs> A jank archetype is reborn. I think my my least favorite card in the deck was the discoveries, but that last game, you know, like the discovery was was clutch and find, helping us find stuff. But I guess I did kind of like my mono red play. Yeah, I mean, we were 3-0 against Mono Red. I liked my plan of just board out all the Thought Erasures and all the Discoveries. Um, Dovin's Veto was clutch. Yeah, our deck worked really well. Um, so there we go. All right, if you are watching this video later on, on YouTube, I guess I guess I should probably do a little bit more for it. Some people kind of skip to the end and, and say, but yeah, Niv Mizza was awesome. We uh, frequently drew two cards. That was like the most common number. We never drew less than two, but we drew two like four times. We drew three. I could be off on this, but I think it was like draw two four times, draw three like once, maybe twice. And then like a draw four and a draw five. I think that was that sounds like about right. Maybe like four draw twos, two draw threes, one draw four, one draw five. 
something like that. But yeah, it was awesome. Mana wasn't really too bad, even without Chromatic Lantern. Like we um, even cast Niv Mizzet just on turn five, just curved out five lands and cast Niv Mizzet on turn five one game without a Chromatic Lantern. So that was cool. A Johnny the Great Hearted was amazing for us against all those mono red decks. It was just so good. Just so much loyalty, gain three life, gain three life. Like they're dead. Like they can't, they can't do, they can't uh, do anything about that. So that card was amazing for us. And there we go. All right. So yeah, if you're watching this later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed.